my GCSE biology syllabus statement 210 the effect of pH on an enzyme reaction on the y-axis we're measuring the rate of reaction how quickly the reaction is proceeding and on the x-axis we're changing the pH so for any enzyme we find that at a particular pH we get the maximum rate of reaction illustrated that here with this point here so that would be here that will give us our maximum rate if we then repeat the reaction at lower pHs here so this would be acidic conditions then the rate of reaction gradually decreases like this so as we go from the maximum rate of reaction at this pH and of course this pH here is the optimum pH the rate of reaction decreases if we repeat the experiment and the enzyme catalyzed reaction at higher pHs the same occurs so the rate gradually decreases up towards these higher pHs more alkaline conditions if we complete the graph then what we see is a pattern like this and the graph here is more symmetrical than the one that we saw for temperature which I'll remind you looks like this so this was temperature but this one is symmetrical and so we know that as conditions become more acidic or more alkaline then the rate decreases the explanation for this is that the acidic or alkaline conditions change the shape of the active site and this slows the reaction so here repeated here 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 and here at these pHs we change the active site and it gradually slows down again if we repeat the reaction at this these pHs it slows down more and more at this pH the enzyme works as optimal it should be noted that the optimal pH is not necessarily 7 for instance in the stomach there's an enzyme called pepsin and the optimal pH for pepsin is pH 3 so, uh, but an example of another enzyme which works at pH 7 would be something like salivary amylase so salivary amylase is approximately pH 7 so this number would change here